Hello viewers and welcome to my channel. It's Leonard here again from digitallearner.com and today's video tutorial I'm going to walk you step by step on how to build any kind of website you want to um, using WordPress. Be it, be it an e-commerce website, um, a real estate website, uh, a, a school website, a church website or whatever, any kind of website you want to build on earth, you can achieve that with WordPress. And acquiring WordPress skill can actually um, make a lot for you in the market because there are a whole lot of businesses out there that are looking uh, to get an online presence and they are looking for people who help set it up for them so if you acquire a skill as a web designer using this uh, free open source software called wordpress it is a content management system um, you can actually achieve a lot what this simply means is that with wordpress um, developers have done the hard work for you so all you just need to do is to build website like this um, to build e-commerce website build any kind of website you want to build with just a drag and drop feature um, that simply what you see is what you get that is basically what WordPress is all about so with the few, all the page builders like Elementor like Drive Architect you can actually build beautiful website like this um, with just a drag and drop feature without you um, bothering about the coding aspect of it. Um, so when we go to the WordPress website here, the, when you go to wordpress.org, um, you actually see the slideshow here. You see different organizations, schools, you know, all these big companies around the world that are using WordPress. They use WordPress to build um, their businesses. So you can actually use WordPress to build up a website for your business or for other businesses and make a lot out of it so in order to start building a website using wordpress if you don't have an idea already um, the most important thing you need to be aware of now is that there are three basic things you need for your wordpress website to be up and running one is that you need a domain name so i'm going to show you how to get a free domain name and then you need a hosting and I'm actually going to show you how to get um, a hosting and a domain name. So you need first a domain name. The domain name simply means the name of your website. For instance, mine is digitallearner.com. And the word, the domain name for Google is google.com. That of Facebook is facebook.com. So whatever business you want to build online, it needs a domain name. It could be the name of your business.com, the name of your business.org. Now when we talk about extension, extensions are either the .com, the .org, the .net, the .ng, .com, .ng. All of those ones are the different extensions that you get with your domain name. So the domain name is simply the address of your website, the name you give out to people for people to actually visit and see what you have displayed on your website and the services that you offered on your website. Uh, why the, dom the hosting itself, um, just like as I'm talking to you at as of the time of making this video, this video is only accessible by me on my laptop and no server has access to my laptop. So because I want every other person out there to access the laptop, I need to as upload this video to a video hosting site like YouTube where you are watching this video from. So I need to upload this video to a video hosting website. But for the website hosting, there are hosting um, companies, uh, there are people who are actually hosting providers like Bluehost and TMD Hosting, which are the two basic hosting that I actually recommend for anybody who wants to build a, a reliable business online. Um, you, I recommend these two companies. Reasons being that with one hosting account, the first benefit is that with one hosting account, you can host as many websites as you want. Once I purchase a hosting account today with TMD Hosting, with that same hosting account, I can host a client website. I can host um, as many websites as I want with just one hosting account. That is why I actually recommend this. And with this, with TMD Hosting or Bluehost, you get your domain name for free. For instance, if the name of your domain is the name of your business.com, and normally it costs between $15, $17 a, a year. But you, with host, Bluehost or TMD Hosting, you are going to get that domain name for the first year for free. And you get access to, you know, adding unlimited um, domains to this same hosting. You don't need to buy hosting every now and then when you buy a different domain name. For instance, if you have a domain name for dropshipping, um, you have a web, you want to create a website for dropshipping and then you have a website you want to create for um, let's say um, for a school or for a church you don't need to buy hosting each time you want to create um, all of this platform so with just one hosting account you can get 
um, all of these different um, website hosted with that hosting account so that is why uh, I basically recommend and their support is awesome their support is awesome since I started I migrated from my previous hosting to um, using Bluehost I have not experienced um, a downtime like it used to be with my previous hosting um, it has been awesome and each time I need any I'm in need of anything and I contact the support they are always there to help me out with whatever I'm stuck with so the same thing applies to TMD hosting these are the two different hosting um, providers that I actually recommend I use them I use them and I still use them so I recommend it I recommend them for you if you want to build up your website um, with Bluehost you get 30 days trials after 30 days if you are not satisfied with their services you can request back your money while with TMD hosting you have 60 days um, trial you can try them for for a whole 60 days and if you are not satisfied they, they give you back your money in full after 60 days so you can go ahead 60 days is enough time to actually try and see how to actually build up a website online and start you know building website for clients or for for your businesses so basically you need a domain name and a hosting and with bluehost or tmd hosting you get a domain name for free and you get access to all of these um different benefits that are here free domain name um you get a free c panel and then all of these different things here you get them for free so basically i have a video on my channel and on how to actually purchase a domain uh, a hosting account that gives a free domain all you just need to do is click on any of this plan the same thing applies here if i click on get started on bluehost and then i go on to select a plan these are the different plans they have here i normally prefer this is my preferred plan the choice plus um just click on um, select plan or in tmd hosting just click on get started and in the next page is where you add your domain name um the domain name you are going to get for free for one year you add it up here and if the domain name is available you go ahead and proceed and then put in your details and pay for the domain so you put in your domain name here and then select the extension from here and then click on next if the domain name is available bluehost will let you know and then takes you to the next and once you finish getting your hosting and your free domain name your login details to access your cpanel will be sent to your email it is from your cpanel that we are going to install wordpress so i just logged into the dashboard of my tmd hosting so all i just need to do is to click on my domain name here to log in into the cpanel so once i click on that domain name it opens in a new tab and that will give me access to my cpanel and this is how the cpanel for tmd hosting looks like and it is similar with every other hosting provider that is out there so all i just need to do from the hosting account is just scroll down here and then click on wordpress because it is wordpress we want to install so we'll just click on install wordpress so once again there is a video in my um, um, that I'm going to leave a link below for the video on how to get a hosting um, and a free domain name from beginning to end. So I'm, I just skip that part because I've created a video on that already. So once you click on WordPress, it takes us to this new dialog box. And all I just need to do is to click on install now. So you are going to install WordPress on the new domain name that you just got. And the WordPress version we want to install is the latest version. And we are going to leave this as HTTPS so that our site will always show secure whenever we use it. And here, in your own case, if it is your first time of getting a hosting, you are going to get just one domain. But in my own case, I have several domains here that I'm hosting with just this one hosting account, as I explained earlier. So I'm going to select the domain name where I want to actually install the WordPress on. So once I click here, just select the domain name where you want to install WordPress. And one thing I want you to take note on uh, note of is this directory here. In the directory here, please leave it as empty. If you input anything here, like it is in the as WP, that means WordPress will be installed on this subfolder, not on the main website itself. That means you want to access whatever design you have. The person must go to the name of your website slash WP or whatever name you put here. So the directory should always be empty and then you go here this is where you put the title of your website what is your website all about put the title here and then the description a brief description like just a sentence about what your website is all about you input in that and then the um, username shouldn't, shouldn't be admin you should change this to something uh, like your name or a combination of your name or any other thing the name of your business please don't leave it 
as admin and for the password you can put the password here but normally i recommend you generate the password by just clicking on this key and um, this will generate a random password for you which is stronger so at the end of the day you just copy this password and then the username you've created and save it somewhere then here is where you are going to input your email address the email address you are going to put here is the email address that we associated with your website so that at the end of the day if somebody contacts you through your website you will get all of the inquiries um, on the email you are going to put here so whatever email you want to be associated with your business website that is what you are going to put here if you are building the website for a client um, you are going to put the client's web, uh, email address here Otherwise, if you want to have access to the website and then still give access to the client, um, I will show you how to do that in um, um, a subsequent video. So um, you just put in the email here, the uh, language should be English. And then here, um, TMD hosting gives you the option of selecting a team. If you have a, a particular team in mind, you can go ahead, but we'll do this after our installation. And then where do you want to send the installation details to? You can put a different email here if you want or the same email so that at the end of the installation, it will be sent that these are your login details too for the installation you just made. So once you fill in this information correctly, all you just need to do is just to click on install. I've already installed WordPress and in a previous video, as I told you earlier, I've already installed WordPress, but I just need to walk you through to actually see how this works. So um, within five to 10 seconds, the WordPress will be installed on your site. And the next thing, um, you'll be given access to log into your dashboard. So with the username and the password you've provided, you will log in and this is what your dashboard um, will look like this is a fresh a, a fresh installation i did on this side so if i click here and open this on a new tab once i come here you see that it is the 2020 team that is installed and activated right now but i'm not going to use this team i'm going to show you how to actually install the team and this is how a, a site look like so we are going to see how we can customize this site to look um, to actually achieve exactly what we want to and before we go for that two things i want you to take note of and um, what WordPress work with and what makes it beautiful is that um, WordPress work with what, what is called team. The team is the look, the design of your website, the way your website looks. Um, for instance, if you go to my blog here, there is a particular team that is designed this way. You have teams for um, a website for WooCommerce, you have teams for blogs, you have teams for news site, you have teams for real estate site, you have teams for directory listing site, you have teams for everything you want to achieve um, using WordPress. There are several teams out there in the WordPress repository that you can actually use free. There are free uh, thousands of them that are free and they're equally premium teams that are equally better depending on the project you want to achieve. But in this video, I'm going to show you how to actually use a free theme to achieve whatever you want to build with WordPress. So you can go ahead and in order to assess the team or change this particular team that we have on our site here, once you log into your dashboard, this is how your WordPress dashboard looks like. Um, basically, if you know how to use all of these tabs you are seeing here, these tabs will keep increasing um, depending on the team that we install and then the plugins that we add. So basically, this is, how the, this is the basic look of a WordPress dashboard of a fresh installation. Um, and then the more teams and plugins you install, the more these tabs will increase. So in order to install a team, the team we are going to use today is um, Ocean WP. So I just need to hover over this appearance. Um, this is where we are going to install the teams and I click on teams. So once I click on teams, basically it takes us to all of the teams that we have installed here. Basically, the ones we the one we have activated right now is this 2020 team, and then um, you are going to install Ocean WP, which I've installed already. But in order to add to show you how to install this, once you click on teams here, it brings you here. So all you just need to do is to either to click on add new here or click on this plus button here, and it will take us to the WordPress repository where we have every team you have here. Um, um, you have access to use them to design your website so you can browse them by their feature you can browse them by popularity um, you can browse the wordpress uh, teams here with by the latest one or you can even um, come here to the filter here to actually select what you want you go through this you say okay you need a team that has a footer a team that have a featured image a team that have a grid layout all of these things you can and at the end of the day you apply your filter and that will be applied here and you select the teams that you want to achieve but right now we have a team a particular team in mind we want to use and as, as i just showed you all you just need to do is to click on the search um, bar here and click on ocean 
WP. So you are going to type look for Ocean WP team. Um, is an actually an awesome team, and this is a team here. So all you just need to do once once this pops up, you are going to install this team by just clicking. Um, if I hover over this, you see install here. So you just click on install, and once the team is installed, you go ahead and activate it. So I've installed it already, but I haven't activ activated it. So I'm going to click on activate. So once I click on activate, um, this team recommends that we install all of these plugins we are going to install elemental we are going to install ocean extra and then wp forms so all i just need to do is to click on begin um, installing plugins so i just click on this and then select all of this and select this bug action here and say install and apply plugin have been installed and activated already so since they have been installed and activated and then to run the setup for WP Ocean um, team, we are going to click on this. When you get this notification, just go ahead and click on run this setup. Um, so you are going to actually get started here by just clicking on get started. And then these are the different kinds of um, plugins that Ocean WP comes on, pre-built teams that Ocean WP comes with. Um, so you are going to any of these that you want let's say for instance we want to build um, an e-commerce website using this let's look at this store so we we'll click on the live preview and that will open in a new tab and this is what if you want to achieve something like this you are going to have a um, there's a top bar here where you have social your social media icons here you have your account you have your shopping cart contact us and then you have the main menu bar here where you have your store your logo here you have the home page the shop the um, another menu here with all of this mega menu drop down and the rest so if you want to build a shop like this you want to achieve something like this to actually if you are going to sell something like this you are going to need to actually install this team um, by activating this um, template here or let's look at another one let's say look at this one that say coach if you want to achieve something if i click on preview here this will open and once i activate it this is what your website is going to look like you are going to have your website looks like this so it all depends on what you want to achieve ocean wp comes up with different templates the same thing applies to every other premium team that you buy it comes up with all of this if you are for instance um a lega institute and you want to achieve something like this you go ahead and activate this um if you want to create a personal blog like a portfolio a photography this stuff you go ahead and activate this all of these different teams comes with different purposes it depends on all you want to um you you want to achieve so once you preview the team and you're satisfied with it for instance let, i like this and i say okay let's build a store all i just need to do is to come back here on the ocean wp on the setup here and then select this once I select that, I'll scroll down here and install demo. So I just click on install the demo here. And this will install this website the way it is. So it's going to, this plugin has been installed already. So it's going to install this, all of these different plugins that is re uh, recommended here. So all you just need to do is actually install all of these plugins and activate. Just click on install and activate. And that will go ahead and install all of these plugins on your site. Install and activate. This has been installed and activated already. This has been installed. So we equally need to install WooCommerce here. We need to install and activate. And then for these other ones, the sticky header, the elemental widget, and the footer color, all of these ones are premium themed, are premium plugins. So you need to pay um, to actually get this activated on, on your site so if you want to get this you need to get this add-on by going to the ocean wpu site to actually get this add-on installed on your site so um team has been successfully installed and everything has been done so now right now if you have designed a logo for this already you've seen the concept of this if you have designed a logo for this this is where you upload the logo and then if you have two different versions of the logo Let's say this is for um, any background and then for a white background, you are going to actually upload the logo and then you add a title here. This could be instead of my blog, you are going to put your shop or let's say your online shop.
and then here will be a description about what the shop is all about and then the site icon here this is going to be the the, uh, the size of the image you are going to upload the site icons are um, these icons that appear here what you are seeing here like the WordPress icon that is appearing here on my own blog you will see the site icon here so it's going to be the name of your logo um, but it has to be in this size 12, 512 by 512 pixel so you just create that and actually upload, upload, upload here now for the primary color if you are not satisfied with um, the red color here all you just need to do is to click here and select the color or by I, I like it the way it is and then the hover color when somebody hover over a menu or something what do you want it to change to you can change all of those things here the main border color all of this you can change them here depending on what you want and when you are satisfied with the setup here all you just need to do is to click on continue And then um, the setup has been completed successfully. So if you want to actually receive emails from um, Ocean WP, you can go ahead and then enter this. But for now, we need to view our website and see how it looks like. All right. So this is what our online store now looks like. So for instance, this would have been our logo. And then this menu, we are going to see how we can adjust all of these things. Um, if you are going to sell online, this is going to be your shop and these are going to be your product. So you are going to now adjust these things to actually match what you are going to actually offer online. So this is Ocean WP for you. You have the footers here and all of these things have been already imported for you. So all you need to do now is to go back to the dashboard. Let's just dismiss all of this. And then the WooCommerce we installed is actually uh, asking that you run um, the setup wizard, which I equally recommend. This is uh, how our website looks like. We have a fully customized online shop set up for ourselves. So all we just need to do is to click and edit all of these things to actually match up with um, what we need. So if I go back to my dashboard by clicking on the name of my site here, um, so basically what you should take note of, once you click here, once at the dashboard um, of the website, once you click here, it takes you to the front end, and when, when you are at the front end, you click the name here, it take, brings you back. You are seeing this bar because you are logged in. You are now the admin, so you are the only one seeing this bar. If somebody is accessing this website um, from some other device, they won't see this. You are only seeing this because you are logged into your site. Um, so with WooCommerce installed, if I go here to product, I can see all of the default product that were imported. All of these things are things we can now go in and edit them. And we are going to set up the payment platform for the WooCommerce. This is if you are building a WooCommerce website. So if you want to uh, set up your WooCommerce, once this notification comes up, all you just need to do is to click on the setup and set this up. I'm only showing this. I'm only showing you this because I am not showing you, maybe in our next tutorial would actually walk you step by step on how to build an e-commerce website. But basically, once you import this, you can go ahead now and edit this home page using Elementor because um, everything that is built there is built using this plugin that is called Elementor. And this is the free version of it. If I click on this to edit this page, um, this is the free version of Elementor and then just click on got it and that will open up the site for us to edit if you want more features of elemental then you need to go and pay um, a little token i have a link in the video description below where you can get elemental pro that can actually give you a whole lot of um, features to do this so now we are here we can edit this we would edit this menu using our customizer but here we can actually change this image if i click on this edit section here um, just go ahead and click on got it if I click on the edit section here and then this opens up all of these features I can edit this I can make it full weight but when I come to the style menu here you can see this image here we can change it so if I want to change the text here I can just click on it and then type whatever I want to in season sales you can change this to whatever you want I can click here and then change it to whatever I want all of these are done with Elementor. I can click on the button here and then change it here and add a link. When somebody click on the button, where do I want it to take them to? I can add a link here. So that is how you use Elementor. I can click here and edit this text here. 
um, click here and change this text here now this is the product if i click on this one here um this is actually a short code here and um, this is from our product and this short code is from the shop the product so we just need to say put in this code here and put the product that we want to list on the front end of our website now to edit this section again like the first one when you click on style you can change this image here um you can click on the text here to edit this you can click here to edit you can click here to edit that is one beautiful thing about elemental and when you get uh, the pro version of it you have more feature but you can work with the free one and still build something reliable like this this is another short code for another text for another shop product so you can list your product here you can call this fisher product you can call this new arrivals or whatever you want to and then you come here and set up the categories of the products here so you click here and then let's go ahead and edit this this is space this is space let's edit the column here So these are different columns you can add images here if i want to edit this and go to the style you can change the images all of these things are editable so if i click here and i go to style i can actually change the images here and this is how you edit your elemental and this footer is equally um, from the back end of our site we are going to edit this footer the way um, you want it to look like whatever you want to achieve with this site you can do that all here and uh, each time you make any changes here um you just always click on this update here to update and now if you want to look at how this our website looks on a mobile phone we we'll just click on the icon here where you say responsive mode and click on it and then click on the mobile icon here and you can see that the website here looks very well uh, it is mobile responsive that means people can access our website using their phones and they can make pushes using um, their phones on our website so basically wordpress is awesome wordpress and elemental this is awesome you can achieve a lot using wordpress so once you finish updating your site all you just need to do is to click on update and the website will be updated and as you can see you now have a store um basically if you want to change this i'm going to show you how to actually change this um this um uh, the currency here to whatever currency you are for for, for instance for nigerians um let me just exit to dashboard so that is how you basically work with elemental you click and edit these things have been built already for you all you just need to do is to go um go on there and and, and work on it so if i come back to the product web page here and you want to edit this product uh, all I just need to do is to click on the product and edit. It depends on what you are selling. Basically, by now you should have, if you are going into WooCommerce, um, you should have have your product featured image, and then if possible, upload a gallery of the image descriptions and all those kind of stuff. Because we install Wo Wo WooCommerce, we now have access to all of this. We can add the description. We can name the uh, title here. Uh, we can name the product here. We we'll go ahead and add a feature image and then add the product description there we can add reviews as it comes or we can collect reviews then the product gallery if people click on it what type of different images you want them to see you can add as many product gallery as you want here if i click on here it takes us to a media library where we can actually um, add all of these images when we imported that store it imported all of these images into our store but basically you don't need all of this uh, except you are selling things that are related to this any of this you can go ahead and use them but you just delete all of these things and then add your own images and change this to add a new product all you just need to do is to click on add new and it takes you to the new product this is where you add the title this is where you add the description and uh, you select your feature image here you add the product tag and then you can uh, categorize this if there is no category here all of this category to add a new category all you just need to do is to click on add new category and you name the category here and it will be listed here so you go ahead and add tags and then add a, a feature image the image you want to be displayed and then the uh, gallery here all of this you add them and product description so that's how you add a new product to 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 this if so once the customizer opens up these are different widget on the footer here so we just need to click and it takes us uh, just click on this pencil icon here and it takes you to where you can actually edit that alternatively if i close this 
um, in order to edit this widget is to hover over appearance appearance and select widget here so if i click on the widget um we need to come down here these are all widget this is um, for footer one footer two footer three footer four so this is footer one footer two footer three footer four so these are all those things that you see here. if i click on the footer one here um you see the contact info which we have here is what that is here so you can just click here and edit all of this information um to actually fit in with what you want to achieve and then the footer two the recent post if i click here this are recent post we will have here so if you want to edit any of this um let's say you want to add about me a custom header about me whatever you just click and drag and drop it here and you just change all of these things once you change them you click on save if you don't want them you can click on delete and that will remove so here we have the recent post and then you can see recent post there and then on the footer three we have con custom links and custom links again if i go back here you see all of the custom links useful links and then store and then on the footer four here we have from um, uh, product uh, dark cloud and then we have social icons which is what you see here the tags and then um, the social icons here so that is how you do this and um, basically that is how you do this to customize this you need to use the customizer where we were before to actually customize this so I'm just doing a, a general run through on how to actually start editing your site for the header here if you want to add this menu, we still need to go back to appearance, over over appearance and click on menus. So if I click on menus here, it takes us to the menu icon. As you can see, if I come back here to the site, um, we need to, okay, this is the footer menu here that is selected. So here we need to select which menu we want to see. The footer menu, uh, at the footer here we have um about us we have contact us we have terms and condition and privacy which is what you are seeing here the about a contact us terms and then the privacy policy that is because it is the footer menu that is selected so if i click here and select the main menu here and click on select we will now see where all of this menu at the header here is the home shop women and the rest so this is where they are the home the shop under the shop, we have a drop down. This is how drop downs are set in WordPress. Um, the drop down simply means if I click on the shop button here, um, I see all of these drop downs of different categories. I can click on these are all drop downs. And in order to achieve that, this is how it is. So if I don't want this to be a drop down, all I just need to do instead of leaving it here, I'll just click and drag it back. So if I go ahead and save this, please take note of this this um, external product. So once I save it, instead of being under the shop, it's going to be um, on its own now. So if I come back here and refresh, so we now have a standard product instead of being on that shop. So if I want you to go back again, all I just need to do is to click and drag it to be in the same line with this. So all of these ones are under the shop. And then on the woman here, we have all of this sub menu. Um, we have um, these dresses and the rest and the rest and the rest. So this is how you achieve you build this mega menu you are seeing here if i hover over women you see all of these things with um the the pictures and the rest this different over men you see all of this um so that is how you achieve that with the menu settings here so i just go ahead and click on save and that is how you can actually edit this menu the way you want it um i'm not building uh, a shop website i'm just giving you an overview of what you can actually achieve with wordpress and what you can achieve with ocean wp so with this you can achieve a beautiful website build up for you now if i want to change this team from being a shop team to any other team i want once i need to do all I, all I need to do is to come back here to my dashboard on the team panel here i'm going to click on install demos um on the demos here these are different demos that we have here we have for businesses we have for blogs we have for sport we have a one-page demo we have e-commerce website which are this is the one we just installed if i click on the one page site here um, um you can install any one let's say you want to go into sport and then i want to install this yoga here all i need to do is to click on preview and if i like this site all i need to do now is to go ahead and click on the site select it and it opens up so it tells me to 
get the add-on for the, the other sticker if i want that i can go ahead and get it but i just need to click go to the next step and it will import all of these things so all i need to do now is to click on install this demo and it will go ahead to install them this demo and this demo will now overwrite the the ones the previous installations that we have done before so i'm only showing you the possibilities of building any kind of website be 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 whether you want to build a shop website you want to build um just a blog or a one-page website you can actually achieve that with a free theme a free plugin and you don't need to pay for all of these things using ocean wp so the team has been successfully um, installed uh, this particular template has been successfully imported so we need to see the 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 result i just click on it so from what it was before from this this is what our site now looks like so all you just need to do now in order to edit this is to click on edit with elemental if i click on edit with elemental it does it's open up the elemental panel just like we did before um so you can see if i refresh this now you see that it is this new template that we just installed that we now have so with elemental i can go ahead and then edit this if i want to edit this section i click on it if i want to change the image the background image here go to styles and then change the background image if i click here it takes me to my media library where i can change it if i want to change it back to this one that we use in the shop i just click on insert and that image will be inserted here if i want to edit the text i click on it and edit i click and edit the description you can edit the button all of these are things you can do with elemental so at the end of the day if i want to equally change this i can go ahead and select go to styles um, just click on the image and change the image the background image here. the same thing applies to this um, you click on it and edit the same thing applies to this you can click and edit and if i go to the style here um, i can click and edit if i come back to the overlay background You see that the background here is white that is why it's showing white here if i want to change the white to something else i can click on blue and that is what will be given to us any background color i want to change here that is how you edit all you do and when you are done editing you click on update and you have a full functional responsive website that can work with any device working so basically this is an over i just wanted to run over uh, wordpress to see tell you show you the possibilities of what you can achieve with wordpress i actually run a one-on-one -on -one training on on how to um, start up wordpress from beginning to end i have courses on udemy about wordpress that you can actually go i'm going to leave links below the video description but if you want me to help you out on one and one if you're in nigeria specifically in abuja or you want me any any part of nigeria you are you want me to help you out you can always contact me via my blog links in the video description so if you are new to my channel i create a whole lot of free video on how to make uh, Korean uh, re-skills and make both affiliate marketing and entrepreneurship how to use wordpress all of these things are things i teach on my channel so subscribe and hit the notification button to be the first to be notified each time i publish new videos on my site so until we see again go ahead and try out wordpress and tell me um what you can achieve with it or if you're already developing wordpress and you think there are things i didn't mention here please leave a comment below and i will definitely address it in my next video so until we see again take care